Recently, I've gotten a ton of comments asking how I get my hands to look like this. If you look at all my latest videos, you can see that my hands are farther away from my player and are also smaller. In this video, I'll show you how to install the mod and configure the mod to how I have it. But before I even start, I should probably mention that this only works for 1.19.2 and 1.18.2. Sorry, no 1.19.3 support yet. With that said, let me show you how to install this mod. You are going to need to use the fabric loader for this mod, but if you already have it, skip to the timestamp on screen. In order to install fabric, all you need to do is go to the link in the description and click this download here button. Then download for Windows. Then just go ahead and launch it. After that, select 1.19.2 or 1.18.2, whichever one you prefer to use. And then just click install. And it's done. Now in order to actually get the mod, all you need to do is just go to the link in the description and it should bring up a page that looks like this. This is an open source project originally made by this person, but they didn't update it to the latest version, so this cool person decided to do that for us. So all we have to do is just go to the version that we need and click on the download button. If you're using 1.18.2, just click on releases, then scroll down, and then download this version instead. You should have this jar file, and if you have that, then we can continue on to the next step. All you have to do is press Windows key and R on your keyboard, and it should bring up this run menu. All you have to do is type percent app data percent and click enter. And it should bring you here. If for some reason you don't see any of these folders, click on view, show, and then make sure you select hidden items. From there, just go into .minecraft and then create a mods folder if you don't already have one. Then just put it in there. That's it. You're done. Just open up the Minecraft launcher and you should see this instance called Fabric Loader 1.19.2 or whichever version you downloaded. All you have to do is just click on play. Now if you get this error, it means that you just installed Fabric, and that means that you need to go back into Fabric, and then make sure you download the Fabric API. Now it'll be for 1.19.3 or whatever the latest version is. Just go into files, scroll down, until you see the correct mod for whichever version you downloaded, and just click on download. Then just go back into your mods folder, and put it there. Installing this mod for Feather is even easier. All I have to do is just open up the Feather client, I'm signed out for some reason, but go into mods, click on add own mods, and add it to this folder. Or, an even easier way, is to just drag and drop the jar file into the Feather menu, just like this. And then, just launch Minecraft. It'll handle everything else for you. So now we're in the test world, but as you can see, nothing changed. What I have to do is just press the backslash key on your keyboard. It's beneath the backspace key and above the enter button. Just press it, and it'll bring up this menu. From there, you can turn these on and change it to your heart's delight. For example, I have this just stupid looking configuration, but it just shows that you can make anything you want with this mod. It's super customizable. But this does not look like what I have in my videos. If you want that, you're gonna have to download my configuration file. So all I have to do is open up your .minecraft folder again, go into the new view model folder, and then make sure your game is closed. It can't be running for this. Then all I have to do is just right click, open with, choose another app. Look for more apps and choose notepad. You should see this menu. From there, just delete everything in the file and then paste in the one that I have in the description, save it, and relaunch Minecraft. Now when you load into the world, you'll see it's disabled by default. So just go into the mods configuration menu and turn everything on. And there you go. It looks just like the one that I have in my videos. From here, if you want to, you can customize any of these again, but be careful. The scale Z and position Z go farther than they normally allow you to. So if you change these at all, you're going to have to go back into the configuration file and reset them manually. So just be careful about these two. Any of these other ones you should be able to change just fine. That's it. That's how you get the view model mod. I hope this helped and thanks for watching.